Surface loading. This is how much water we are putting on the surface. So we have a circle here, diameter. We have a clarifier, so it's a circle. And everything inside the circle is the surface. And surface is measured in square feet. So the formula for surface loading is flow in gallons per day divided by your area in square foot. <coughs> so let's go ahead and find the flow in gallons per day. Or first, actually, let's find that area in square feet. So uh, remember volume was feet times feet times feet. Well this is square feet. So it's just feet times feet. So we just do uh, the volume formula without the depth. So 0 0.785 times the diameter squared, so 100 feet times 100 feet, should give you a surface of 7,850 square feet. So that's how many square feet are on the surface of this clarifier. So the flow in gallons per day, multiply 4 by 1 million, so 4 million gallons per day, divided by 7,850 square feet, will give you a surface loading of 510 gallons per day per square foot. So one square foot on this surface is going to receive 510 gallons per day. And now that's surface loading. Now remember surface loading and hydraulic loading are exactly the same. So if they say surface loading, it's this formula. And if they say hydraulic loading, it's this formula. They're one and the same. They're all gallons per day per square foot. Uh, that'll do it for this tutorial. Uh, I have tips for test day. So uh, do the math last because it tends to be more time consuming. I've heard stories of operators who um, they, they do the math first and it takes them so long to do it that by the time they get on to true false multiple choice they have 20 minutes left and uh, that's not enough time to really do the true false multiple choice uh, very well. If you get stuck on a question move on and come back to it later. Don't spend forever on a question because uh, before you know it, 10 minutes can go by on one question. And uh, that's too long for a multiple choice true false. It's just about right for a math question. Uh, if you don't know the answer to a math question, try to do as much of it as you can. They will give you partial credit. So if uh, they wanted to know, um, you know, surface loading, gallons per day per square foot but you didn't know that it was gallons per day, go ahead and just find the square foot because they'll give you half credit or a point. And uh, maybe that one point is what you needed to pass the exam. So it's, it's always helpful to do as much of it as you can. Uh, all math questions must be supported by calculations. If you do a math problem and you don't know how to do it and you just write an answer down, and even if your answer's right and you don't show how you got that answer, you're getting the question wrong. So uh, you have to show calculations. You have to show that you know what you were doing. And uh, last, take your time. Uh, grade 1 and grade 2 are given two and a half hours to complete the exam, which is uh, plenty of time. You can, if, if you really know the material and you go in there extremely confident, you can finish the exam in an hour. Uh, so always over-prepare uh, because it'll, it'll help you in the long run. Then you're not prepared. Then you're not, uh, not going to get any surprises. Uh, if you have questions, comments, or concerns about this video, you can go ahead and email me at californiawastewater at yahoo.com. Uh, I'll try to respond as quickly as I can and to the best of my ability. Uh, I want you to please subscribe to my channel, share these videos with other operators. It can really help them out. And I wish you much luck on test day, and I hope you all pass. We need more certified operators in our field. Uh, good luck. Please subscribe.